Internet Icon, brought to you by the Yom Yom F Network. We receive thousands of video submissions from all over the United States and Canada. We've narrowed it down to our top 100 finalists who have gathered here at the Los Angeles Center Studios in Hollywood. Our judges will critique each video. Best opening I've seen in a video so far. And eliminate contestants until they narrow it down to their top 10. Three S's on the next round. We'll then compete in a series of challenges with time constraints and specific rules. After each screening, we will eliminate one contestant until we discover the next internet icon. Previously on Internet Icon. It's pretty much like normal the way it is with my brother, which is I just want to kill him all the time. We didn't even have a script today. We were oh, just wow. kind of wandering around going, what are you going to say? All the judges didn't like my stuff. I'm going to redeem myself today. That's oh, yeah, that's great. I did plan to finish early today. I haven't had any problems with the judging so far. Everybody's like editing already. My final cut crashed on my computer and yeah. it just won't open at all. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what to do. Still waiting on the music room. It's not gonna be the product that I want though. I really think I could go home tonight, like, no joke. Hello. Guys. Welcome to the Ugly Truth Vlog Challenge Screening. Now you guys were asked to compare two ugly truths, which would ultimately prompt the audience to ask themselves this question. Which truth is the ugliest? We are about to find out if the clunes will stay atop the internet icon hierarchy or if another one of our talented contestants will take them down in rage and fury. So, you guys remember our judges? Internet sensation, Ryan Higa. Film and TV star, Christine Lakin. And the newest member to our icon family, world-renowned YouTube star, Timothy De La Ghetto. Also joining us, our very special guest, Phil DeFranco. First up, Bad Weather Films. We don't normally vlog and stuff, but uh, this is our vlog for the <laughs> challenge. I like on YouTube when when they have the star fade and it goes, oh, yeah, dude, I can do what? those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are so oh. sick. What do your sippy cups? Oh, sippy cup sick. Oh. Thanks, Mom. You know why he lost his job? Because he sold drugs to kids. Yes, I sold drugs to kids only five times. Police only found out three of those five times. Pretty good percentage of getting caught. You have embezzled money. Dad emailed me, told me all about it. 50 grand you stole and you bought your clown tie. What is the uglier truth, okay? What is worse, me selling drugs to kids a few times and getting caught, or this stupid face guy embezzling money? Next time, it's gonna be so sick. We got special guest, Mike's girlfriend, Susie. Yeah! <laughs> you don't vlog, but that was really good. I was so entertained that I actually forgot to kind of look for the challenge. Um, but that's a good thing, because I thought that was really entertaining, and I was kind of surprised that you guys could just sit there and keep me entertained that whole time. Thanks. You know, these outfits you're wearing today are so interesting. Is this how you always, is this how you always dress, or did you do this specifically for the challenge? For the challenge. Well, That's kind of how you got dressed this morning, knowing that you were going to... I, I do character. actually wear this hat sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but not usually in 73 degree weather. No. Because, I mean... That's, the, that's one other thing, I just have to bring it up, you know. I, granted, you aren't wearing a clown suit or anything, but the fact of the matter is, you know, some of these people came from different areas and they didn't necessarily pack their entire wardrobe. And so we try to keep everything on a little bit of an even playing field of not bringing in costumes and specific props to wear and things like that. You know what, I appreciate that you guys uh, aren't vloggers and so you're given the challenge of making a vlog, so you're like, you know, how do we kind of work our way around this and get around it so you did these characters even though it was like totally ridiculous like you still got the challenge done you know and i think uh that was cool that specific video i would say it's not something i would necessarily share right now it seems like maybe the beginning of a good idea something i i don't necessarily like but i think that there's a lot of potential there. thank you guys thanks Sweet. up next matthias this is which one are you i am matthias and i have big ears Hey, Don't look at me! <gasps> With that lack of control in my appearance, I overcompensate in the way I dress and how I do my hair. <laughs> my advice? You should just be yourself. No. No, you shouldn't. Yes, you should. No. No, you shouldn't. Yes! Wait, hey, what? So you can either blend in or stand out. Be invisible 
or be seen. This is my ugly truth. Which are you? Now, have I mentioned my nose? <laughs> <laughs> Matthias, um, you know, last uh, challenge, you were in our bottom two, obviously. Uh, I think this was just a complete turnaround for me. I love the cutaways, I love the self-deprecation. Overall, great job finishing the video and uh, good job completing the, the challenge. I think this is a 180 degrees from yesterday. It was so clear what you were saying, what the ugly truths were gonna end up being. I just think it was really smart. I think it was just really a, a smart script and I think uh, I think it was very well thought out, so good job. It was so well written and it, and it looked so good. Like, it almost felt like like a like halfway through it, I felt like it was like a commercial for like ear surgery, like where you right. were trying to. Con I was should, like, you know what? Should get I ear should surgery. get my ears done, just like he's probably gonna do. I'm just shocked you're in the bottom two last week. <laughs> that was great. That was fantastic. I love the breakaways. Uh, Self-deprecation, I think, brings you on the same level with whoever you're watching. Uh, I just really, really, really liked it. I don't usually. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Good job. Thank you. Up next. Stellar Lens Productions. This is our first wow. vlog ever. So I was hanging out with Philip the other day, and he posed this interesting question. He asked, would you rather sell out for a paycheck or be a starving artist for the rest of your life? You know, and my immediate response was, duh, why would I ever sell out? I enjoy what I'm doing, and I enjoy it even more making money doing it. The ugly truth about selling out is that it saps the passion out of you, and it turns you into a cold, heartless, materialistic narcissist. And the harsh reality of being a starving artist is that chances are your creative, brilliant artistic vision won't be pumping into your 401k. But it doesn't matter what we think. It matters what you think. Uh, for me, it was a little, I mean, I was obviously entertained. I watched through it, but I just didn't quite see the, the challenge as much, to be honest. I feel like you guys kind of could have, I don't know for sure, you could have just said whatever you were doing like on the top of your head. Um, as opposed to what you guys did, you know, the last challenge, which seemed really planned out. This is a whole new world right. of communicating with the world. Right. And we're so used to being behind the camera and scripting that when it comes to this, that's not a familiar place for us to be. <clears throat> I think you guys had a certain idea the route you wanted to go, but for me, it was just a little unclear. I wish I had actually seen a little more of the dichotomy. You guys talked at me a lot, which is, I know, part of what the vlog is. But had I actually, maybe you could have created the world. You guys know you're dope with the stories and the effects and all that. Like, effects are always on point. That being said, you know, you, you can kind of feel the struggle of the vlog through this one, you know? Do you think there is one person that has, like, personality in front of the camera the most? If you could fight among, amongst each other? Personality. It's not me. Uh, because because it was it was really static. I think it's first timer stuff. I dug the the idea. The execution was rough though. I think you guys know that. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Up next, Megan Batune. Hi, I'm Megan Batune, and my video is called "I Hate Bad Dating." That's my freaking problem, or for short, dating. They say the truth hurts, but what's worse than a hurtful truth? An ugly one. I've been rejected once. No, you're repulsive. Once. But being rejected one time is nothing like facing the ugly truth of a guy coming on too strong. All right, Megan, we're all finished. Next time I'll draw that cavity and fill you right in. Thanks, doctor. Hey. Brace yourself. <laughs> of course I denied due to this forwardness. I've tried dating younger. I've tried dating guys who were on the run. What did you do today? I've tried dating guys with the runs. <laughs> but you had to pick. Which one would you choose? The constant rejection or the four dentist type? Looking back at the two, I don't even know which one I would choose. And frankly, you can't handle the tooth. Leave the puns to the expert. It's one of those videos that I was so entertained that I kind of Again, I forgot to look for the challenge, but uh, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. The challenge wasn't as clear to me, um, but again, I was just very entertained, just like the first video we saw today, so good job. Oh, see, it was so clear to me, but <laughs> but then again, you know, like, you know, you're speaking to the right audience here. Um, yeah, I loved it. You know, I think I'll say it again. I think you are so personable on camera. You are um, totally made for vlogging. I thought the jokes really hit. I thought they were really funny and cute. And I think all, I think girls would totally get this. So, good job. Thanks. Hey, I get it too, man. <laughs> you did it in a way that, um, 
a girl watching wasn't like hating on you, you know? Cause you know, girls are always just hating on each other about everything. So it's like, <laughs> so she was watching and she was like, oh my God, girl, you are so right. And which is cool. Yeah, cause you were, you were able to pull that off without coming off like, you know, you were talking about, oh my God, boys everywhere. It's something that uh, at Source would we call like the unicorn, right? You're a girl who is attractive, you have personality and you can actually do stuff behind the camera. It's it's very hard to find. You're talking about something I think that everyone can relate to. And that's like the best thing about the vlog because you're you're talking and it was, you had those breakaways with the sketch and it was like the best of both worlds. So I really, I enjoyed it. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Thanks, Megan. Up next, Will Packero. This video is called, What is a Man? Uh, something different. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. What is a man? Is it? One with broad shoulders, standing tall over every other ball holder in his pack. No, see, they still get constantly battered to heart is shattered, and all that is gathered is a simple question in their mind, which is what is a man? On one hand, testosterone. The other, romanticism. Do we shut others down to be respected as a man? Or do we let others trample over us in hopes to gain their respect? Which? is the uglier truth. Thank you. See, I understood this one. I don't know why, I don't know why, but. Oh, <laughs> damn man! <laughs> Look, uh, Will, this is very different for you, which I kind of appreciated, to be honest. Um, I was expecting another spegging, or like a. <laughs> it was very interesting to see this, this different kind of side of you, in a way, and it was kind of refreshing, so. I think it was good. Yeah, well, this is unexpected from you, and that's kind of nice. Did you write this? When did you write this? Uh, when I got here. Really? Yeah. You know, I, I dug the poem, man, you know, just because I'm so deep. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I like how, since we expected something so goofy from you, it's like, hey, I've given you this what you expected, and now I'm giving you this, uh, this sensitive poet guy. I don't think you should ever dumb yourself down to try and reach a different audience. I just rock that. Something that I hope uh, I don't have to repeat too many times just because you're gonna get tons of comments about it, fix the audio. Oh, the audio drives me insane because that's like 50% of your video, especially because it's spoken word. Other than that, I, I dug the message I think that you connected. Um, it's all technical for me, the, the stuff I don't like, but I loved it otherwise. All right, thank you guys. Thanks, Will. Thank you, Will Picaro, not Pacaro. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm drunk. Uh, up next, the Shields Brothers. Hi, we're the Shields Brothers, and this is our video, The Ugly Truth About Brothers. People are always like, is Tristan better than Rory? Is, is Chris, Chris Rydell better than Nick Rydell? Right, exactly. But these are questions for the ages. So now, the first reason, I never wrote this. I don't come up with crazy convoluted uh, tangents about saber-toothed tigers. I blame Kyle Hatch. I actually do write the songs that our fans actually like. You like a chocolate cherry sprinkled with cocaine? Sex! I need to feel your sugar running through my veins. Sex! Guys, we had to talk about some ugly truths today. Especially if you're brothers and you gotta work together, you just gotta... We work better together yeah. when we're working together, so let's let's sing in the song we've been working I got your number. I got your number on my telephone I stole it from Ryan Eager's house When his mom was in home I hope that comes off funny I hope he doesn't kill us Okay, alright, bye guys, thank you <laughs> No, I wasn't funny <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding Look, uh, guys, it has nothing to do with that ending uh, I just, to be honest, I didn't care for it um, Multiple reasons. For one, you know, vlogs are close, but that was like too close for me. It seemed like a video very played to your fans. Like it would be like fans that know you, you know, they would appreciate that video. I think that if I was someone who had no idea who you guys were, I probably would have clicked away before it ended. I, unlike Ryan, uh, I really, I really like the weird close shot. <laughs> I love the music. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge music fan, so anytime you're putting music in stuff, it, like, it wins me over. I agree that I think the content, it felt a little bit like I was watching a video about um, a bunch of inside jokes. You guys are charming, you guys are brothers, and I feel like we gave you the challenge and you were like, 
okay, how about who's the better brother? You know what I'm saying? It just felt kind of easy for me. I almost felt like I was watching like an audition video. You know, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're brothers, we're cute, we sing, and that's dope. But like, you know, we already saw your audition video, you know what I'm saying? Like, As far as the content itself, I loved it. I mean, you have music, comedy, hot girl, great pacing, and the very smart kick out to YouTubers. Ultimately, I would subscribe to your channel. I really, really, really liked it. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right, up next, Jewel Thief. What's up, guys? I'm Jewel Thief, and this is the Westerner's water bottle. I'm also not a vlogger, so stepping outside my comfort zone with this one. Last January, I went to visit my sister in Senegal. She's doing Peace Corps work over there. There is one story that really stayed with me and I wanted to share that with you guys. My sister works in an area called Nafaji. I had just finished this water bottle and these kids were reaching out for it. They really wanted this plastic bottle, which to me is just, it's just garbage, but it's this valuable thing to them. It's resealable, it's durable, it's clear plastic. And not even thinking twice about it, I threw it out to these kids and they just started tearing each other apart over this water bottle. They were punching each other, they were ripping at each other's clothes. One of them got knocked down and they were trampling over him. So there are two options. I can hold on to this thing that in their eyes is this valuable resource, but to me means absolutely nothing. Or I can give it to them and just watch them tear each other apart over it. Which is the uglier truth? That was really well done. Um, I think clearly you're not a vlogger, and I mean that in the nicest way, but it worked, I think. Um, I think it worked even for the challenge. Um, I felt that, you know, I felt it, and I thought that was a really smart move. So good job. Thanks, man. It's definitely a departure from, I think, what is the norm, maybe, in these challenges and what we see. You took a risk. Yeah, and I think it's a risk that definitely paid off for me. I think for this challenge, hits the nail on the head really hard. What was so cool about your video was that since it was so personal, it wasn't like forced, you know, you were just kind of telling us something about yourself and your own experience. So it was like you kind of automatically just kind of get drawn into it. As far as the challenge, I think knocked it out of the park. I was, I was really into it. You came off very real. Uh, I don't know, it made me think. I really, really like it. Thanks, man. Good job. Up next, Shamalama. Uh, the title of my video is Read Before You Judge. It's a proven theory that within 10 seconds of meeting someone, you have already determined whether or not you like them or you hate them. 10 seconds. That's pretty much it. Never judge a book by its cover. Jesus, Mom, what did I tell you about vlogging with my camera? Like, honestly, when I'm walking down the street and I see someone dressed like I automatically think, oh man, I gotta move my wallet from my back pocket to my front pocket. And if that wasn't bad enough, when I see someone dressed like, I'll automatically think, hey, can I get 20 on pump six? You were great in Slum Dog Millionaire, by the way. The ugly truth is that we judge people on outward appearance. It is in our DNA. We're Dana. Dana. Here are two questions that I'd like you to answer before the end of this video. Do you want to keep on judging people on outward appearance? Or do you want to actually read someone and then pass judgment? I mean, because honestly, they could be far from what you assumed. Not me, Shamalama. I am your worst nightmare. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm from Philly. I hear from our producers that you finished earlier than everyone? Yes, I did. 12.30. How much earlier is it? What, what time did you guys have to turn it in? Like three? So way earlier than everyone. You had a good concept. I will say that there are different ways you could have done that video, and I think that was the simplest. I think you could have actually put more time into it. That's the reason why I asked you. It could have been better. It could have been better. I think uh, you, you, you showed one of the ugly truths a lot, and that there wasn't really another one. Yeah, like Ryan said, it was a really good concept. You know, we're all a little racist. We all judge people right away. Um, yeah, no, bro. Oh, yeah, Whitey. Um, <laughs> And <laughs> but like, and it was and it was funny, you know. It made me chuckle. But like your your question at the end was like horrible because it was like I almost felt like you made a video about like man, people are dicks. And then the question was like, so should you be a dick or not be a dick? You know, like obviously you shouldn't be a dick. You know, and like like it could have been so good. I feel like if you just put a little more thought into it, like I feel like if you would have taken that extra time and really kind of like maybe kind of flushed that idea out a little more, it could have had just a, such a better moral of the story, you know? 
but you know. Yeah, I think the really rough thing is now hearing the two and a half hours extra, and then you see like the shoulder clip in the video, you see that like a lot of stuff could have definitely been tightened up and two and a half hours of post work. But ultimately, I, it was really rough. It seemed like it was half-assed. Yeah, so. Sorry. Apologize. Thanks, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, last up, the Cloons. We are the Cloons, and this is the more uglier truth. Here at Clunes headquarters, we like to keep it real. We're not afraid to ask the hard questions, like... Why do we exist? What are we doing here? Why don't we get cell phone reception at LA Center Studios? The ugly truth is that in five billion years, the sun will turn into a red giant, engulf the Earth, and leave it nothing more than a charred, molten space rock. The Eiffel Tower. Gone. The Great Pyramids of Giza. Gone. The Andy Fickman Monument. Is that a That'll be gone. <laughs> that family heirloom that's been passed down for generations? Gone. Hold on your hats, because it's about to get even more uglier. While technology has us more globally connected than ever, we often instead choose to scroll through Facebook news feeds. So, which truth is the ugliest truth? The fact that everything we know and love, including our own planet Earth, will eventually be an abandoned space rock? Or, that while connecting with the people around us is easier than ever, we probably don't know the names of our neighbors. With this awareness, how does it change the way you're going to live in this moment? <laughs> So obviously last challenge, you guys were our winners. And um, again, you proved that you're very, very strong contenders. This was such a good video. Thank you. You know, you kind of are like the feel good hippies of internet icon too. Oh. I think that's what, <laughs> what we're, we're, we're getting at here. The moment in the middle with the, the heirlooms and the hand. I mean, I love a good mistake moment. And I think it's great. It's a humanization thing. And I think it makes you guys like real people. Your guys' comedic timing is like so on point, And your cuts are like so clean. It's like you know exactly what you want to do, you know? Like, and and you, you can tell that when you watch the video. Yeah, I kind of hate you because it was so good. <laughs> great to meet you. It's a weird thing, man. Like, uh, like, I like that you get the production quality, but kind of like um, Freddie W and Brandon, right? They, they're really amazing uh, as far as the content, but they get the personality side. So like those breakaways where you messed up, like that's, it was awesome. I loved it. I really, really, I, I wish that I could hate it, but I loved it. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. This is gonna be a tough one. Yeah, I know. All right, you guys, great job. It is now time to head out to the green room. You guys can rise and the judges will begin their deliberations. Woo! All right, Sarah, so dude, Matthias. Awesome. Thank you. Did I make up for it? Thank you for making a video that was so vulnerable and so true because I think that that is what YouTube needs more of. It was not a character, it was you saying, here's my real insecurities. And I think that is so. Uh, yeah. Awesome. So, so cool. Like, major, right. major props. Really yeah, great, great. This, how did you get all that equipment for the dentist? Now? They were the filming a dentist scene. There, randomly. There today, oh, did you write that later? No. That's like, amazing. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, guys, so a lot of good stuff today. Um, let's talk first maybe about what we liked. My favorites of the day, I like Matthias a lot. Um, being yourself versus conforming. I also really enjoyed Alex's Jewel Thieves video. Cut mm. more of the heartfelt side. Right, right. And I also just really enjoyed Megan's. I thought she was Megan's did it first. probably one of the best for me comedically of kind of, you know, how to show yeah. those two different things. She's just a really good vlogger. Who do you guys have? I have clones up oh, there of course. as well. Yeah, and the clones. Yeah. I agree as well. It's just we have to narrow it's so hard to narrow these down. I have the exact <laughs> same score for all yeah. of them. So what what do you have, Phil? Uh, so definitely I have the clones, I thought message was there. It was there pretty much the entire time. It was defined at the end. If the Shield Brothers had hit what the, the actual thing was, I think they'd be in my top two. Because we have that knowledge of what they're like, we've already seen that video, basically. Yeah. Like yeah. Tim was saying, it's, it, we saw that entry video. We, yeah. That's why we love them, because of their personalities, right. you know, and the whole like. I just feel like they took the easy way out. They were just kind of like, hmm, it's like we brothers. Who else did you like, Phil? Um, I think I'm definitely with you for Megan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she's there. Okay, so who do we have on the bottom? For me, I have a bottom three. I know we're supposed to have two. I got Stellar Lens Productions, I have The Shield Brothers, and I have 
shovel. Yeah, you know, it's it sucks to have them as the bottom, especially for a stellar lens, you know, because you know how dope they can be, but they're so completely out of their element. With this one, you don't know how dope they can be. No. But... I mean, I thought the mismatched audio bothered me. My real issue out of the two, I don't know, I th like Shamalama, I think it was just the two and a half hour thing is bothering me. Yeah. yeah. Like, it really, like... You can see it. Like these guys, I feel like maybe, like maybe their audio is mismatched, and then they didn't have enough time, right? And they were like trying to beat a deadline, well, and they were hustling and trying. Well, to be fair, when they had less time. They did something that was like that looked cinematic. Yeah, I mean, it was beautiful. beautiful. So I think they're actually incredibly proficient. I think this was just so out of their comfort zone of being in front of the camera. Yeah. I actually think like. What, was it you that asked who was the face? Right, yeah. They really don't have a face. That's the difference, I think, maybe between the clunes and Stellar Lens, right? Agreed. The clunes, they can definitely be on totally. camera. That's exactly yeah. right. I almost feel like Stellar Lens was trying to give us what we wanted, and so it was so, that's why it was so forced, you know what I'm saying? Shyamalama, that was, a dis that was disappointing, because he's a likable dude, and he's, you know, and I think he's actually, Pretty funny. I feel like he, you know, because he's like, he's the one that's coming in here with like a flip and his Mac. That's it, you know? Right. So I almost feel like he thought, man, I got a good video. And didn't even give it a second thought, you know? It was like, I finished it, everyone else is spending their time on silly effects and color correcting, and I got my video done. I don't know. I don't even. I guess it's tough, man. I'm just tweeting out the results. Well, I'll tell you what, we're not feeling too good about tonight. And that'll be perfect again if uh, we get a little bit Bad Weather Films needs me. Gotham City needs me. Really? Oh, yeah. You only need me. I need me. I feel like you guys, most of you have stepped up in a big way for this challenge. And. From this point out, you know, we're gonna really start to see people start to break away from the pack. It's not okay anymore to have a good video. You have to have an excellent video. I think you all know that, because the competition is real. The decisions we made today were not unanimous, neither for the winner or the loser. Um, lest I remind you that there are 91 groups not standing here. So if any of you are just here so that you can be on the show and get more subscribers and you're not really, you don't really care whether you win or lose, I suggest you just leave now. And I get that we all want to be friends and we all want to collaborate because that is the nature of YouTube ultimately. But this is a competition. So my advice to you is to step your game up and to concentrate on your videos. With that being said, will the following contestants please step forward? Bad Weather Productions. Will Picaro and the Clunes. Congratulations, you're on to the next round. Thank you, guys. Safe. <sighs> you six represent our highest and lowest scores. Jewel Thief, please step forward. Congratulations, you are a winner of today's challenge. You can make your way back to the green room. Nice job. Good job. I want it. Oh, man. Lord, give me a hug. Pack of boxes. <laughs> Megan Batoon and Matthias, please step forward. Congratulations, you both tied for second place. It was a split decision. Great job, you guys. You can make your way back. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You must be so I'm, I'm happy, yeah. We met up last night to talk about our ideas because the judges just ripped into us. It was really harsh. It was harsh. We were both like, how are we gonna win this thing? And uh, we did a lot of brainstorming together and I, I think that it, it really helped. The three of you represent our lowest scores um, of today's challenge. Let's start off with uh, Shyamalama. Um, look man, you went from one of my one of my favorite, favorite entries from the very beginning, from the first time I saw you to obviously bottom three. I personally think you could have done a lot better. I think even if your videos are easy to write, edit, shoot, whatever it is, because so are mine, you know, there's always more you can add to a video. I always look at my videos and think, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that, and that's just maybe, I don't know, perfectionist in me. Um, there should be no reason that you have two hours extra. I, mean, I could see maybe 10, 15 minutes, 20. But um, I think you could have put a lot more effort into your video. Shields Brothers, you know, um, I love your use of music. I've said that before. I think you guys have some really good concepts. Um, but I, I really need to see something more now. You know, and I feel like this video fell short. Um, this was an opportunity to really uh, show us 
you know, your brain. And I think you guys just took the easy way out. Stellar Lens, you know, it sucks because we know what you guys can do. Like, we loved your entry. It just sucks because, you know, at this point, you know, for Internet Icon, we're, we're looking for who can do it all, you know? And um, we, we kind of don't know you guys as, like, a face or a personality. We, we really kind of don't have, um, of, like, a voice on who you are, you know? So we're trying to figure that out. With that being said, Sorry, but Stellar Lens, you are the second group eliminated from Internet Icon 2. Please gather your belongings and say your goodbyes. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for the yeah. opportunity. We yes. really do appreciate it. And we were glad to be here. Oh, yeah. Really I'm very yeah. glad to be here. Again, Thank you guys very much. So long, y'all. Oh, so, we were just eliminated. Yeah, we are going home. They basically told us that since there's four of us, it was hard for them to understand who we were, and we didn't really have a face. Like, there wasn't one person. It makes perfect sense to me that they're here and we're going home. Yeah, plain and simple. It's the, it's the truth. That's the ugly truth. Hey. I'm sorry, it's too late. But... <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> so long. We love you. So that means Shamalama, Shields Brothers, you both are safe. Just to let you know, um, the decision again was split. And had it gone another way, someone else would have been going home tonight. It was very, very close. Super decision. close. The difference here for me is that you guys at least know who you are. And whether you're trying to fit your personality and your musical element into a channel, that's one thing. You can have a great channel with beautiful videos, but if there's no personality behind it, nobody on YouTube's gonna watch. You know, the internet icon is a voice, a personality. That's what Tim has, that's what Ryan has, that's what Phil has. You know what you're getting. That's the difference here. So play to those strengths, because that's why you guys are still in the running. I think what we want to see from you, specifically, is to step your game up. Because we know you're good, we know you're funny, we want you to step up. Don't give us a reason to eliminate you. You can make your way back. Well, congratulations on successfully completing another challenge. Your next challenge begins immediately. This one is a classic and a personal favorite of mine. It is called the How To Challenge. Basically, you're going to have to teach us something, doing it in a very smart and creative way. So go home tonight, you know, jot down some ideas, get creative. Uh, special congratulations to Jewel Thief for winning. Tomorrow, you will have a 30-minute head start, first choice of props and actors, and access to the Icon Suite. So, yeah. I'm stoked. <laughs> and don't forget, you're not allowed to shoot anything before you get here tomorrow. By the end of the day, one more person will be eliminated. So don't make it you. Oh, we want to thank uh, our oh, amazing oh, guest God. judge, Phil DeFranco. Right. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, now it's going to Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, have a good night. Great submissions tonight. Thanks, guys. Coming up on the next Internet Icon. I had a choice of whether to bring this with me or leave it here. Yeah, I think you made the wrong choice. Security told me that I was too loud. They didn't even ask me to, like, tone it down. People have to remember that this is a contest. I she don't need you, boy. The two of us broke a prop during production. Oh. Ah! Oh, no! I'm so sorry. Man, this is not the episode where I cry. <laughs> brings you the facts behind the tobacco industry and other issues that matter to you. That's why they're bringing you exclusive behind the scenes videos, uncovering all of the secrets and fun from season two. Check out the internet icon playlist at www.youtube.com slash truthorange. I thought maybe I would agree with Ryan a lot, uh, <laughs> but we disagreed. I think like 50% of the time, it was really hard to figure out who was gonna be the top. As far as raw talent, I think that half the field it's gonna be really, really hard. If I was a contestant, I would mainly just try and rock it until the end, take advantage of your situation. Hey, Internet. Hey, my name's Chris. And I'm Nick. Together, we're the Brothers Rydell. Yeah, we are. I'm hosting season two of Internet Icon. And I'm mentoring it. Yes. <laughs> we know you guys are tenacious fans, and we love you, and we love hearing from you, but guess what? We want more. We want to see you. Woo!
we're inviting you to play along from home and do your own versions of any of the season two challenges. And leave them here as video responses in the comments below. You're welcome to do as many as you would like for as many of the challenges that we throw at our top contestants. At the end of the season, we will pick the top fan video and play it live during the finale. So put your camera where your mouth is. And put your face where your words go. And do the challenges yourself. And maybe your video will be on the live finale of Internet Icon season two. Right here on the Yum Yum F Network. <laughs> kind of get to just, this is my first impression of you. Because I don't have what yesterday. Would you like another impression? I mean, I could just show uh -oh. you my nipple. Here, here. Oh, right here. changed everything. <laughs> yum, yum, F.